With less than 100 days until the election, both campaigns are attempting to zoom in on critical issues, including the ongoing situation at the border. Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance hitting the trail in Arizona this week as he and former President Trump are trying to paint the Biden-Harris administration as weak on immigration issues. You can see him here speaking from the southern border earlier today. The unfortunate truth is because of the poison that Kamala Harris has let come into this country, there are a lot of those prayers that won't be answered. There are a lot of parents that won't wake up because when you take fentanyl, you don't wake up. The presumptive Democratic nominee, Vice President Kamala Harris, not shying away from this issue herself. Her campaign releasing a new ad attacking Trump after he effectively torpedoed a bipartisan border bill earlier this year. On the border, the choice is simple. Kamala Harris supports increasing the number of Border Patrol agents. Donald Trump blocked a bill to increase the number of Border Patrol agents. Kamala Harris supports investing in new technology to block fentanyl from entering the country. Donald Trump blocked funding for technology to block fentanyl from entering the country. There's two choices in this election. The one who will fix our broken immigration system and the one who's trying to stop her. The border likely to remain front and center as the campaign rolls on. And News Nation's Allie Bradley is on the ground for Vance's border visit today and had the chance to speak with the senator one on one. Here is some of that conversation. I'm really concerned about what's going on here, but I'm concerned because it's caused a lot of fentanyl to come into our country and kill our citizens. You heard uh, the, the chief earlier say that about 25% of the fentanyl coming into our country is coming through a 20 mile track that we're standing right in the middle of. It's a horrible tragedy for the American people. We have to stop it. And with better policies, we could. I mean, look, some things are difficult. Border enforcement is common sense. You just have to empower the border patrol to do what they need to do to stop this terrible crime from happening. If you do that, you solve 90% of the problem. So what's the first order of business? Day one, what do you do on the border? You know, I talked a lot to the Border Patrol guys today just about what is most important. The, the thing they kept on saying is the remain in Mexico policy. That is what forced asylum claimants to stay in Mexico while those claims were adjudicated. We know the cartels, but also a lot of other fraudsters use the asylum process, the broken asylum process, to come into the country illegally, to go all over the country to deal drugs and so forth. I think that's important. Obviously, you have to re-implement aggressive deportations. If people are coming into the country illegally, Legally, you have to be willing to send them back or they're just going to keep on coming. And then I think finally you've got to end this crazy catch and release system where people fly into Kansas City from Central America. They get released all over the Midwest. That's terrible. And it also, again, invites people to come in and break our laws. And the conversations we hear often is close the border, close the border. We hear former President Trump say it often. Yeah. What does a closed border look like under a Trump advanced president? Look, I think it's very simple, actually. It's number one, you finish construction of this border wall. You've got slats of border wall here that the Biden administration is letting rot in the desert instead of put up to, to actually make our citizens safer. I think it's re-implementing deportation so that when people do come across illegally, you send them back and say, go through the proper channels. You're not never going to, of course, eliminate every illegal border crossing. But if you look, I don't know if we still have the chart up here, but if you look at that red line there, that is the as bad as it got under the Trump administration is still way better than the low point of the Biden administration. We just got to get back to common sense. It's not that hard. And we will have a live report from Allie Bradley live from the border coming up in our next hour. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.